Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am here in my garden and we are celebrating the fact that I have a new lawn. See this green stuff here? This is actually fake grass, it's artificial, but it's such a dream. I can just sit on it. It's not full of insects, it's not muddy. <laughs> it's like sitting on a carpet and it's so nice. And I now have a bit more space in my garden to use, which is great. So I get to sit here in the shade on the floor and talk perfumes and uh, let's just get into it. So I've probably titled this video something like most warm perfumes. Really, it's perfumes I've worn recently. It's nothing that dramatic. So I'm just going to talk to you about some of the perfumes I've been wearing lately and really loving. We'll start with my scent of the day. And that is this. It's Mekong from Tion Reinfeld. So it's a natural perfume. If you watch my channel, you will know this company by now. I talk about them a lot. I know it might be annoying for some of you. Some of you that are into it as well really, really enjoy the videos. So bear with me. Mekong, I will put the, I'm going to put a little photo of the Fragrantica uh, picture of all the notes up here. It's actually got a lot of notes in it. For me, I would describe it as a fresh fragrance. It's definitely got a lot of fresh notes like petit grain, bergamot, um, neroli, orange. It's got a lot of citruses. It's also got some herbal notes and it's got some resins and it's got lots of beautiful florals. So there is frangipani and white lotus. There might be some rose, but the overall effect is fresh, but exotic, a little far away. It makes you feel like you're in a far away country, probably an island. Here comes my pussy cat. Hello, darling. Annie. You come to see what's going on. Let's see if I can get her in. There she is. What's happening, darling? Look at, look at the camera. Come around here, look. Look, look over here. There we go. There we go, baby. Yeah. She wants feeding. That's why we're getting some attention. I've been feeding her more often than she really needs, but she likes food. Although she's quite fussy, and then she'll eat some of the food and then leave it, walk away. And I have to rescue it before the flies get all over it because it's summer. So, Mekong, she's so cute. You can't see it. You can't see her. She's so cute. Um, Mekong, Mekong. Yes, it's exotic, it takes you to sort of like a faraway island. It retains its freshness throughout, even though it's got these depth, depth notes like your resins, different resins, and vanilla and sandalwood. And yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I really, really love it. Obviously, it smells really natural. It makes you feel like you are out in nature on your natural grass. So that is my scent of the day. I absolutely love it. And then we will move on to, we may as well stay with Tion because this one has taken quite a dent. I've only had it, I would say less than a month. I can't remember when the order came now. Oh, Naturel. This one, I noticed different things about it all the time. I previously never noticed, I'm sure it's lavender I thought I picked up in it. I can't remember the notes, so I'll put those on the screen. I think I picked up lavender when I never had before. And also really started to pick up the jasmine. When to me, it felt more like just a medley of white florals. It now feels like it's a little more on the jasmine. Maybe it's just developing aging in the bottle, I don't know. But it's another one that's fresh and resinous and floral. But this one I'd say, it's a little more powdery. The florals are a little sharper or noticeable maybe. Well, that's not quite the right word. I think the jasmine's quite quite punchy is what I mean. Um, either way, I absolutely love this one too. And I've used a lot. Both of these have good longevity for something that's quite fresh. And um, yeah, it sort of stays fresh on the skin, which is really quite amazing. But both of them definitely have that depth so it's not just a bright crystalline citrus 
floral it has that depth a little powder a little texture uh, a little of the sandalwood uh, resins that kind of stuff you can smell that as well so let's cut to this strange woman who is out on a paddleboard <laughs> hello everyone hopefully this background is a little bit more interesting while i talk to you about a few fragrances that I am wearing or have been wearing. So my main fragrance today is Tom Ford Soleil Neige. I haven't worn that for a little while and I really felt like wearing that one today. I'll put the notes on the screen because I can't remember what they are. It's a, a floral a musk with a little acidity that I think could be a sort of citrus acidity. I have in the past described it as almost reminding me of vomit but in a good way we always say that don't we but in a good way it smells like rotting carcass but in a good way well no it doesn't smell like rotting carcass it smells a little bit like vomit it does smell a little bit acidic I am drifting over towards an obstacle so bear with I don't know if you can see it's like a bit of tree sticking up although I might I might be drifting past the tree so I think we're okay we're okay little island there but I think that's where I saw a terrapin once I'll show you the footage of the terrapin now I've mentioned it so Soleil Neige to me does have an acidity it's kind of a citrusy fruity acidity and then there's this sort of muskiness which is a clean musk there is ambrette in there and there's some florals i don't really specifically pick out what florals are in here if if from memory i think it might be a touch of rose but it's more of a smells more like a white floral to me but a very mellow and kind of clean white floral so you almost get the effect of a clean white shirt crisp and clean so you've got that musky floral kind of thing and but then it's counteracted by the slightly strange not not quite vomit like acidity so that's what i'm wearing today it's actually not bad in performance the sun is out it's pretty warm so i think we've just got a little bit of dappled cloud here but it's fairly warm and um, it's projecting so it's really nice and then on my wrist i have got Vixier from Electimus. this was a decan that was sent to me by my friend sue who is working along with Electimus. so full disclosure uh, my friend is involved uh, in uh, the I, I don't know the pr or stuff stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh look at my hair um just trying to keep away from the edges here um yeah so my uh, oh <laughs> so full disclosure my friend is working with the brand and she did send me this decant she also arranged for me to go to uh an event arranged with Electimus and Joe Voy in um, um my, <laughs> I was gonna say Maidstone um begins with M and it's in London Mayfair, Mayfair, and um, it was a really nice event and I got uh, quite a few samples from Electimus, so if you would like me to talk about them, then I will, let me know. Uh, this was my favourite from all of them. I have to say the brand is not really my thing in terms of the way that the fragrances smell. There's a lot of oud saffron, in fact most of them have this very Middle Eastern feel uh very very loud big fragrances and quite a lot of the aroma chemicals i don't really like so if you like big loud strong fragrances modern then you may well like electimus if you have similar taste to me you probably won't like the majority of them but if you want me to talk about them anyway, I'm more than happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments. But Evixier, as I say, is my favorite. I can't remember the notes, so I will put those on the screen as well. But to me, I get this fruitiness, which is a little pear-like. And something, I think it's an iris. I'm guessing there's iris in here. Goes a little bit like hairspray on my skin. I haven't tried it on paper, so it might, it might go like that on 
on paper and on everyone's skin but i do get a little bit of a sort of sharp hairspray like vibe from it, it reminds me of when my mum used to spray her hair she used to back comb it she's similar hair texture to me and she'd like brush it out and back comb it and and cover it in hairspray back in the 80s you can imagine and um i do get a little bit of that in there but it doesn't ruin it for me it just adds um adds a contradiction i suppose and it's a little bit powdery and it's definitely a little bit sweet but it's not full-on sweet so yeah i would say it's a it's a fruity iris with gosh and i really don't know how to describe this one but i like it it used to remind me of iris ganache in a very abstract way uh, not like it smells exactly like it and it's definitely not as sweet and it's not as vanillic is there even vanilla in here I, I couldn't i wouldn't say for sure there's definitely a little sweetness but i don't know if that's a vanilla sweetness it could be something else um but it is really nice and it's very strong but not obnoxiously strong like quite a lot of the others are from the brand it's doing very well in this heat it's definitely got a lot of stickability so it, i'm happy to talk about this one in more depth and i will at some point because i do think it's really nice and worth your attention and then what else was i going to talk about oh and then on my left wrist over here i've got a cheapie this is the one that my mum bought me i mentioned it in a live stream i think i unboxed it in a live stream and i forgot what it's called I don't know if it's a take on Modern Muse. It's got a, a Night Muse or something is the name of it. I'll put a um, picture of it and the notes on the screen. But this one is, I think it's a Sheepra. But to me, it smells quite soapy. Um, a little powdery, a little bit soapy. Not quite sure of the notes. Definitely got something floral in there. Is it a touch of white floral? I'd say it's more like um, soapy, a little, maybe even a touch of aldehydes. Um, clean, but it's got a little bit of grit. Like it's powdery, but it's quite a gritty texture. So it's not like really, really smooth, fine powder. It's a little more sand-like, I guess. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Just trying to get away from the uh, woods that are sticking out, the trees that are sticking out. Oh, there's a terrapin. Okay, thank you to uh, Mermaid Smurphy for that. So oh, I've got testing strips and they're flying all over the lawn. I've just saved one. So here's one I have worn a couple of times now. It's been loaned to me by Mr. Smelly. I was on his live stream, uh, was it last Sunday, I think? And I actually popped around just to borrow a few of his fragrances to make a video. And I have this here, I've just taken the lid off. It's Dior Hum Parfum. And I wore this last night. I, I've, I've worn it two nights in a row actually on my night shifts. Just done two nights overtime working from home and I wore it both nights. And I really love this. And I do think whilst it's really sexy for a man it's definitely just sexy. It's sexy for anyone that wants to wear it. It's an iris perfume. It's got a little freshness. There's a bergamot in the opening, but it's not a really bright, again, not a crystalline type bergamot. It's mixed in with that powdery iris and the woods and the sort of ambergris like musky sexiness. There is a leather note, but to me it comes off almost more like silk or I guess you could say suede so there's no hard leather there's no cowboy seats or boots or cowboy seats what are they called horses seats saddles it's not a saddle like leather or even a leather jacket it is softer and more silky and smooth really long lasting uh, I'll spray it on uh, sort of around the first few hours of my night shift 12 hour night shift and then I will go to sleep at 6.30, 7 a.m., wake up three, four hours later and still smell it. So 
in terms of performance, absolutely outstanding. I really love the irisy powderiness of this. And there's a little warmth in there. There's definitely something giving it some sweetness. So it's not just masculine sort of non-sweet notes. There's a touch of something. I couldn't tell you what it is. Something, it doesn't really smell vanillic, but something along those lines that just gives it a bit of sweetness to just warm it up a little bit. And I adore it and I want to get my own bottle now. I know it's hard to come by, especially if you're in the States here in europe i have found it in airports i don't generally see it in department stores anymore but usually i can find it at an airport so yeah love that dior home parfum another one that i wear a lot i've mentioned it tons it's definitely almost a signature scent for me these days and it's Paris monte carlo's ylang ylang nosy b this one I won't go on about it too much because I've talked about it a lot. It's a very rich, exotic ylang and vanilla, a very natural vanilla, sort of woody and spicy nuances and uh, really well, um, lasts well in the heat. It's perfect for hot days, even though it's quite rich and sweet. It just takes you to an exotic island and I really, really love it. So now we're going to cut to paddleboarding Smurf made for my next selection. So here we are at a place called Barton's Point, which is a lake and country park in Minster, Isle of Sheppey in Kent. Really gorgeous day. It's actually quite windy, but I'm on a quiet part of the lake that's not so windy. Over there, it's really, really windy and it just keeps blowing you back to the cafe. You can feel the wind actually picking up now. You can see it on the lake there, but here I am on my paddle board. This is my scent of the day, Sacred Ground from Tio Reinfeld. This has notes of oud, honey, myrtle, I think manuka, or it might be a manuka honey, and what else? Sandalwood, lots and lots of sandalwood. It's gorgeous. I love it for paddle boarding because it's really strong and long lasting. So it will see me through the hot weather, the sweat, even the dips in the water. Hello, here I am. So it will even see me through the dips in the water and it will last and it actually still will project so it's a fantastic in terms of performance bearing in mind it is all natural and it's to me it's like a rich wood imagine a rich wood box dark wood and in it has been stored tobacco sweet tobacco and incense imagine that but then add so there's a note of baronia as well which i forgot to mention baronia baronia is an australian flower it's, it smells like white flowers uh, it's supposed to be a little fruity and sweet and fresh so you have this freshness so you have this kind of like honeyed tobacco woodsiness but then this beautiful freshness at the same time and a gorgeous rich kind of sweetness running through it as well it is to me it's a masterpiece i do think it's one of the very best of tion's creations i absolutely love it and in terms of performance it is outstanding it is just i thought something was nibbling my feet it's just the ripples of the waves so that is one that I absolutely love to wear when I'm out on the paddle board and it really does give me that performance that I want if I want to be able to keep smelling a perfume. It is perfect. And my final one is Hera from Papillon. Look at that, I have almost done half the bottle. I love this. This is so beautiful, signature scent worthy. I think it's the combination of the iris and the white florals in here. So there's orange blossom, jasmine. I can't remember. There's probably some other florals. 
definitely a nice dose of iris mixed in with it and it sort of like just makes this gorgeous texture a little on the powdery side and then when it dries down there is some oak moss in here so it does go a little on that sort of powdery oak moss side not so much the sometimes oak moss can be very almost like root, rooty grassy and sharp but this is a very muted soft powdery gentle uh, combination I guess with the, there's a little vanilla in here I think there's some labdanum so it's very smooth a little bit powdery in the dry down really long lasting it is an x-ray and it is just stunningly stunningly beautiful I tried to not wear it for a few weeks to I didn't want to make it feel less important and special than it was but I have gone back to wearing it on a few occasions I actually wore it when I met my friend Chris um, hey Chris if you're watching uh, when I went to visit my dad over in uh, he's, ne he's near Nottingham in a place called West Bridgeford and uh, Chris who happened to be a winner of one of the uh, Ukraine raffle prizes he actually lives in West Bridgeford so we met up had a really lovely time this was what I was wearing and he said even though sitting across the table from me he said he kept catching whiffs of it in I think he said something like you need to make that your signature scent so he was really impressed with it as well and yeah as am I absolutely love this it is a bit more pricey than the rest in the Papillon range but and this was gifted to me full disclosure but I would absolutely buy this once this is gone, I am buying a bottle for sure. I really, really love it. So that is Hera. And that is it, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of my new lawn. And let me know what you've been wearing the most these last week or so. See you soon.